Good morning guys. It is finals week, my last two weeks of finals and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me in this dreadful moment. I have quite a few things to complete for my finals. Nothing too bad but still kind of like a little bit stressful. I'm gonna be filming for these last two weeks of school because some of my finals are today and then some are next week. I just want to give you guys as much school content as I can before I drop out. I'm gonna be heading to the train right now. I'm all dressed up. I put a little bit of makeup because I don't want to put too much. Let's go. Cause baby love I can't sit on anything because everything is wet. So I have to sit like this and it hurts my ankles and it's really cold and all the benches are wet. And I was gonna sit under this thing, but it says to not touch and I don't wanna like touch their project. Welcome back to another school vlog. My last school vlog of the year and maybe of ever because I can't do this school stuff anymore. I have one final today for my in-person class, my photography class, and then I have another final next week, which is my last final. And that one is my business one, which I'm definitely gonna fail. Like, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> like, we know. I have a paper due for my German class, six-page paper that I have not started that's due by the end of next week. And then I have another final due this Friday, which is pretty simple. I was working on it this morning. This hurts so bad. Should I just sit? I don't want to ruin their project, but I look dumb right now. My legs hurt. I have a lot of things I need to say in this video. I just don't know how I'm going to say it because it's kind of long. I got a juicy story time, which is not even juicy. It's just sad. But I I got this cute new sweater has penguins on it and then i'm wearing baggy jeans also yesterday i saw the nct nation movie we all need to boycott it because what was that like they cut the set list so much like i would sit in a theater for like five hours if it meant seeing every single song that nct has ever released ever in their life like it was fun in the moment the theater was so loud but like when it finished i was like girl this was nothing like i could have gone for four more hours it was still good i wore green of course i posted a reel about it go see about it okay i'm not gonna touch their thing i can't do that squat thing that people do i can only do it if i'm wearing like platform heels my classmate does it all the time the squat and i'm like girl how do you do that i also never saw my train boyfriend which is like really sad okay i'm gonna finish my oatmeal and then head to class i guess it literally took so much in me to not ditch today i'm in class like not paying attention at all like there's no point in me coming but i was like i guess I gotta slay my classmates again gotta show them who best dressed wearing a penguin sweatshirt wearing baggy jeans eating oatmeal that's just my role in this universe and in this school so i'll see you guys later goodbye
bad news it started raining outside so i couldn't sit in my usual spot and i'm under the library and it's dark and scary and raining and cold and my fingers are cold i ate my chicken tenders they were really yummy ate it with ranch unpopular opinion i think it's really good and i think everyone should try it my next class is my photography class so we have to present our two images that we printed out so we're just gonna have a critique day also do you guys remember that couple in my class they like like each other and stuff so tell me why last class he comes in the class and he hands her a huge christmas gift he hands it to her in front of everyone and by everyone i mean like four people because our class is hella small and she was like oh my god and she <laughs> it was actually kind of awkward because i was like okay and then my teacher was kind of like okay it was such a cute interaction and then he ended up leaving to the printmaking room with this other guy and i ended up staying because i'm a chismosa i'm scared I think I just got bullied. <laughs> I ended up staying because I wanted to see what he got her to. He ended up getting her two plushies and then he wrote a handwritten note for her. I was gonna open the note and be like, oh, what did he what did he write? But I, I think that was pushing it a little bit. He like painted her something and gave her two plushies. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like, do you like it? She was like, yeah, it's really cute. And there was another girl sitting next to her and like they're really good friends. And she was like, wow, I wish someone would do that for me. I was like, girl, we are in the same boat. I just got to the train station. It's golden hour. I'm not staying later to campus this time because the sun is literally already setting and I don't want to get home too late because then I'm gonna have to walk in the dark and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna shower. I want to finish my essay literally as fast as I can. If I can turn it in early, like that'll be best because I don't want to have to wait till next Friday. I just want to get it over with, you know? My last final is next week. I want to be done with everything by then. So then I like start my break early. So I'm gonna be working on that tonight and then also tomorrow I got the day off from my job I'm gonna try and finish all of it tomorrow like I know I can do it am I gonna get distracted yeah anyways my train's gonna come in like two minutes so I'll see you guys when I'm home <laughs> Okay, I just got home. I am gonna shower and then make something to eat and then chill. I said I was gonna do homework. I might not, it depends how I'm feeling, but I just feel icky. We're gonna get clean and it's gonna be a great night. I have the place to myself because my parents just left and I'm with my cat. I'm gonna do a face mask. Oh my God, yeah. Let me go shower really quick and see you guys later. Who said I can't wear my covers? Let's go, cause I stink. I stink. Show me the place.
your mind has been and where feel Okay, it's the next morning. I already had breakfast and now I need to clean this room. I need to clean my depression room. I haven't even brought it up, but I got a bed. I filmed a video of me like setting it up and stuff and I literally haven't like touched that video or continued it because it's part of like a room transformation. This room is insane. It's been a pretty bad environment for me to be in. Constantly being surrounded by so many things is like extremely overwhelming. I'm also selling my clothes on Depop. Please go buy my clothes because I posted like three items a few weeks ago and no one has bought anything. Come on guys, please help me get rid of these clothes. I'm tired. But I'm gonna clean my room a little bit. Gotta clean this beauty of a room. So enjoy this time lapse I just threw up oh my gosh don't be a maximalist don't I finished my finals for two of my classes for my online class. I finished all the assignments due for that, which was due tomorrow. So I got it done early. I finished all my assignments for my photography class. I turned everything in, all my responses and stuff. So right now I only have two more finals to go. The paper and then my business test. I have not worked on my business test. I need to read like three chapters of the textbook and I don't want to. I'm gonna fail anyway, so what's the point? And then I'm free. I'm free from this freaking semester. I just made some ramen noodles. Not ramen. Girl, like cup noodle soup. And I'm letting it heat up. Yay! A family member from Guatemala brought some tortrics. These are so good. Yeah, but I'm gonna eat these two and then keep doing the homework. Here's Gigi. You're so cute. <laughs>
song The way you got me dancing around the question I just finished my bread and water, literally meal of the year. I didn't have time to prepare a good breakfast today. I mean, it's finals week. It can't get any better than that, right? I also don't have any food at home. Yeah, the fridges are empty. My business test is in 30 minutes. I haven't even been studying, guys. I've accepted my fate. I'm literally just gonna fail. I did pretty good, I think, on the project, the group project we did. Hopefully, I got a good grade in that because that might bump up my grade a little bit. As long as I get a C, if I have to repeat this class, I'm actually gonna drop out like I know I say that so many times like oh I'm gonna drop out I'm gonna drop out. like I actually am like I had a breakdown a really bad one last night I was literally washing dishes and I started bawling my eyes out and I just I can't live like that and I realized school is doing that to me I don't know why school just hasn't been going the smoothliest the smoothest for me um I've just been struggling a lot I don't want to say I'm depressed but like there's something going on and I'm still debating if I'm coming back next semester or not it's looking like I'm not because apparently all the classes I still need left to graduate which is literally only three like they're not offering them the next semester so like what's the freaking point apparently i can't take two of the classes i need at the same time because there's only one teacher that teaches that class this school is really interesting every semester i learned that i don't like it here there's not enough teachers there's not enough resources especially the art department like it's just not good girl i'm wasting so much time i'm wasting energy time money hopefully i do somewhat good in this test i have a good feeling about it but I said that these past four tests and look at the grade I got. Look at the low 60s, low 40s. Yikes. Plan on getting out around 12 p.m. And then I have to go print something because I forgot to freaking print it at my house. So I'm going to do that in the library. And then I made my first Depop sale and I have to go drop it off at the post office. There's like a cute little market near the post office that apparently sells really good sandwiches. So I'm going to treat myself and get a good little sandwich. Just going to have a little picnic. And just like relax because this week has been not it for my research paper it has to be a six page paper and i'm on the last page so i'm pretty much done and it's pretty easy i just need to like freaking repeat the same thing 10 times and I'm, i'll be good it's like an art response i guess so i feel like with art you can just kind of say whatever no offense actually full offense actually no no offense because i'm an art major so it's, it's like fine not gonna lie like i think this is like one of the best papers i've ever written like i'm not even kidding like maybe maybe i am a scholar maybe i do belong here hopefully this bread fills me up enough so that my stomach doesn't growl in class i'm gonna try and finish the test early i'm not gonna be trying super hard on it i'm just gonna literally try my best and hope for the best and then after print the thing in the library and then head to the train i still have a juicy story time for you guys that i never told you guys about about the guy that i thought had a crush on me girl am i seeing crazy what i'm about to say because it literally is and i'm gonna tell it to you guys when i have the picnic thing oh tell me why there's this like old man that i always see like every time i come to school and he's like really cool he's like super old like he uses a crane but today i was like what are you doing people just n always know how to ruin like a good encounter or like a good friendship i guess i wore perfume today as I always do and I wear like oil. I always wear holy oil as a protection from the universe because there's creepy people out here. And then I also put perfume and I recently got this like really good like vanilla perfume and so i wore that and i guess i sprayed a little too much or something i was waiting at the bus stop and mind you it was outside so like there's like air and stuff like i would get it if we were like in an enclosed space but as he was walking towards me maybe like four feet away he's like it smells really good like do you wear perfume i was like yeah i do wear perfume but i don't think it's that strong like for you to smell it like four feet away and then i smelled our, my wrist and i could like kind of smell it but like not to the point where it's like an overwhelming smell you know and he was just being kind of creepy about it was just saying like oh yeah it smells really good and then he's like oh like when's your last day of school or whatever he was like making conversation and he was asking like what i was gonna do during the break and i told him that i work like a part-time job and he was like oh you like you're a busy girl i was like no this is normal life people go to school and have a job like girl get it together the bus ended up coming early thank god and i got on it and he's like oh it is you like it is you that smells good and i was like 
can you drop it can you drop the fact that i smell good i know i smell good you know when people like bring something up like constantly and then you're kind of like why do you keep bringing it up like okay we established already that something smells good does it matter if it's me or not like just appreciate the smell kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit ew guys are just weird don't get me wrong he's like a cool dude why you gotta say that like why why would you say that i remember i used to work in a grocery store and there was this one co-worker i would wear like tinted lipstick and he's like oh did you wear lipstick today and i was like yeah he's like yeah your lips look really pink i'm like why would you say that i'm like you're pushing literally 70 like why are you talking to me like that i was like 19 it's disgusting anyways i have i think 20 more minutes so i'm gonna try and study i guess wish me luck wish me all the success in the world in this class in this universe as a guatemalan girl That was actually the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. A cute little story is that I went inside the market. I was like looking at the deli menu because I wanted to see what kind of sandwich I wanted and I get really shy when ordering stuff so I would rather get a sandwich that's already like pre-made like I don't need to pick like the cheese or the meat. The old man working behind the deli he asked if I needed help. As he was helping me out this other dude got a sandwich. They didn't accept discover which is the card that he had. The dude was like oh we can't accept that and then the guy's like oh well he already made the sandwich. And then the old man who was like helping me out was like, oh, like Merry Christmas. Like, it's fine. Like, you could just take it, right? So he gave him a free sandwich. And then he started asking me what I wanted. He eventually finished making the sandwich. He like called me, right? And I was going to go pay. He's like, you know what? Since I gave the other guy a free sandwich, you can take this like for free, like no charge. And I was like, are you sure? I was like, I don't mind paying. He's like, no, it's okay. Happy holidays. Like, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much. And I thought that was really sweet. And then I ended up buying a yerba mate hot cheetos and a snickers because those are my top three favorite snacks ever the combination of those with the sandwich just hits you know tell me why another old man another viejito 
opened the door for me. It was an overall great experience in there. I always get scared walking into stores alone because I'm too shy to like have bad encounters. Like I don't like experiencing bad people because I just get extremely embarrassed even if they're the ones being embarrassing. I'm always the one like being embarrassed and like apologizing. Even if they like punch me in the face I'm gonna be like oh my bad. The sandwich was really good and it was worth it because let me tell you I was about to pass out and I only ate that bread with water. Like what is that? It's always the small little markets that like have just like the best freaking sandwiches the test i finished kind of early a lot of people did i don't know how i feel about it there's a lot of terms where i was like i did not learn this i didn't see this in a textbook so now i just have to do the essay but i feel pretty good about that paper and my grade in that class is pretty good so i think i'm gonna pass with an a this semester and last semester was like pretty tough for me i don't know why I, every day i just learned that school literally is not for me as much as i tried and as much as i try to convince my brain it's just instilled in me and especially in like latin family and communities it's kind of like a given that you have to go to college after high school and like graduate of some degree and get a good job but honestly i just want to be happy okay but now that we're here and we're sat and we are full in the tummy and we are fueled up i'm gonna tell you guys the freaking story of the guy y'all this is not even funny like so if you guys haven't seen my october diaries series that i did on youtube definitely go check that out because it's kind of a continuation of that but basically in one of the videos I mentioned how there's this guy in my class who keeps talking to me and I had the impression that he might have had a crush on me he would always make like little comments to me it's probably not a good idea that I'm saying this but I kind of want to say it as like a PSA and like a be careful for like the girlies and the guys it can happen to anyone but basically he ended up being extremely stalkerish to the point where it actually got pretty bad and i had to report him i was debating on whether or not i should even say the story because i didn't feel safe saying it when it was happening i didn't know if he was capable of doing something if he would have seen this video and like called me out on it because he did say that he saw my videos i don't know how he found i never told anyone in my class or him that i make videos and i know it's easy to like search someone up on instagram i do know it's not like impossible to find my instagram or socials but it's just kind of weird when you bring it up and when you're already giving stalkerish vibes to someone like you shouldn't say that right <sighs> if i start crying it's okay <laughs> i've already talked about this to my close friends and my parents obviously for safety reasons i do believe that i have gotten some sort of closure and like healing from it it is a juicy story that's why i wanted to say it and because i'm a chismosa and he deserves to be exposed so this is how it started and this is what pisses me off the most is that it happened during halloween like during october i was really excited in the month of october because i was doing my dressing up as halloween costumes to school i was having really fun vlogging at school i was making like really cool videos and i was recording a lot it just kind of sucks that now in the future when i look back on this time and i see these videos i'm gonna be reminded of that incident every time i went to school something happened i think part of me like wants to say this story to like have a record of it girl not this turning into a therapy session the first day i dressed up i dressed up as kiki's delivery service and that day after my first class i heated up my food on my way walking from the cafeteria he crept up from behind me he got really close to my personal space and we're not close like that it's not like we talked outside of class or like hung out outside of class or like you know got each other's instagram he seems a lot older too he just looks like a strange guy so right off the bat i felt really uncomfortable because he got in my personal space and he was kind of like surrounding me a little bit and like walking around me me. he's like dang girl like you look good today like oh my god who did your makeup just like being really weird and like extroverted in like a bad way so he was like over complimenting me i don't mind compliments from guys or anyone as long as you do it right bro like don't be a creep like if you're gonna compliment be like oh i like your outfit today you look good that's it like don't keep adding to it and being like oh girl who did your makeup like like you know like that was the first incident that happened right even before then i had a weird gut feeling about him because he would always try to talk to me after class but i was like oh maybe it's just me being paranoid like i just don't like men most of the time so anytime they try to talk to me i'm like ew red flag so i already had a bad gut feeling about him but i just kind of pushed it away this is why always listen to your gut feeling never ignore your gut because your gut is going to protect you and then the second day i dressed up as dorothy during lunch i went to a study abroad meeting and so i was like okay there's no way i'm gonna run into him like i'm gonna be in this meeting in like a building in a random room like there's just no way he's gonna be there right girl <laughs> why there was free food so i got 
a plate of free food and I sat on the table this like long table with a bunch of girls and I sit down and I'm like eating my snacks why does he sneak up from behind me and literally whispers in my ear puts his face right next to my face I'm like what the freak are you doing what are you doing he's like hey Amy I think he compliments my outfit again because like I was dressed up you know I like had pigtails and I was wearing makeup I don't even know what he said girl but the point is he got really close to my face and I just kind of froze there and all the girls around me were staring at me and I was like please don't think that I'm associated to this creep this is a weird dude I just felt like embarrassed this guy just got really close to my face people probably think that we're like friends or that I have a crush on him or he has a crush on me and like I don't want to give that impression you know and I got extremely uncomfortable and in the moment I was like there's just no freaking way that I see him again in this meeting I didn't tell anyone that I was going to the meeting. I didn't tell anyone of my classmates that I was interested in study abroad during this time. There's just no way, right? He doesn't end up staying for the meeting, but he grabs like a plate of food and then he leaves. But before he leaves, he comes up to me again and he like whispers again in my ear and he was like, oh, take notes for me about the meeting. And then he ends up leaving. I'm like, go eat some dirt. And I thought that was it girl it gets worse than that like there's just no damn way the third incident that happened with him i dressed up as chucky this is how i remember what happened was because of what i was wearing this day as you guys saw from my vlog i didn't go to my second class he was in my photo class by the way i don't think i said that i didn't go to my second class because she gave us studio time and so i was like okay i'm gonna go to downtown to take pictures of architecture because that was the assignment i didn't tell anyone okay we all knew there was no class that day so you know no one was in class whatever i was like okay there's no way i'm gonna run into him because he doesn't know if i'm on campus he doesn't know where i'm going he doesn't know what time i'm heading to the train he doesn't know any of this right so i get out of my first class my business class and then i go to like by the dorms and i vlog a little bit there like catching up my viewers for my youtube channel and then i start walking to the train i push the button so that the light can turn green so i'm ready to cross the street why do i see him at that intersection he's the first car in line literally right there in his car and he was like hey amy and i was like what nothing hit in the moment obviously when you're in shock you're just kind of like okay how did he know i was walking there also i don't want to expose too much but also like i don't care he works on campus he's an employee because i remember seeing him with a uniform and a walkie talkie and so i knew he works on campus so i'm like okay the first time i ran into him on campus on my way to the art building and it was during that time when i was heading to the train so i'm like shouldn't you be on campus if you're like working why am i running into you outside of campus on my way to the train station not one bit did he look surprised to see me i'm like okay maybe it's just a coincidence he's just saying hi and he's gonna drive away no 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 honey he ends up talking to me from the street and like waiting for the light to turn green he's like oh my gosh like let me give you a ride to the train station who told you i took the train it wasn't me i'm like oh no dude like it's fine like i don't mind walking i'm almost there anyways he's like no it's okay like i don't i don't mind giving you a ride like don't worry about it i'm like no it's literally okay i told him no so many freaking times he makes a u-turn he drives up to where i'm at my light doesn't turn green yet and so i'm still standing there like dumbfounded in my freaking chucky costume and then he's like come in yamie like come in he's like adjusting his seat so i can go in his car and i was like no dude it's literally fine like i don't mind walking no he's like no like come on like it's okay i said no i said no i said no i said no then my light turns green i'm like no thank you though like i appreciate it but no and i walk right and then i put my headphones back on i'm like okay that was over with he's gonna drive away 20 steps in and he pulls up to me again the way the street was built he had to go completely around to reach to where i was like he had to make like a huge u-turn like an unnecessary u-turn and he goes up to me he's like come on yami like i don't mind giving you a ride and i was getting sick during that time and i told him I'm like no like i'm getting a little sick and like i don't want to get you sick i was just making up ex freaking excuses the scary thing is like there was a little part of me that was about to get in his car to just make him shut up and i'm so happy that i didn't because what the freak like no he then brought up the fact he's like i saw your youtube channel by the way i was like oh when i saw your video i was like like, no way that's yamie like that's so cool like yamie from photo class like what and then he saw my sprout from my headphones and he brought it up he's like oh your little sprout i was like what the what are you doing what are you doing he's like oh like if you don't mind like i wouldn't mind teaching you how to drive honey i already know how to drive i just don't have a car i have my license already clearly he doesn't catch up on my youtube he's like okay well like promise me like if it's ever raining or if it's like too hot that you'll let me give you a ride he's like but promise me i was like 
dude he's like oh you're really gonna break my heart like that i'm like yeah and i'll stomp on it and light it on fire like i don't care read the room read the room and then he ends up driving away and then that's when everything starts settling in of what happened and i start crying in public sobbing my eyes out i call my sister freaking out and i'm like this just happened he just crept up on me he kept telling me to get in his car and i kept saying no but he wouldn't take no for an answer and I was just extremely paranoid. In the moment, I was like, maybe I'm overreacting. And you know, this is what sucks about being a woman. We never act like the victim sometimes and we think that we're overreacting. When no, no, that was weird. If someone says no, that's no. And I know some people say, oh, if they're saying no, it's like their way of like flirting, being hard to get. You can read the signs if someone feels uncomfortable. And if you keep asking for something and if they say no multiple times, maybe take a hint. So then that happened and I was like, okay, this is getting a little bit out of hand. This is the third time I run into him in like consecutive days, like one after the other after the other. My friends and my sister and my parents were telling me to tell my teacher. My mentality was like, I'll do it if he does one more thing. As if those three instances weren't enough for me to rat him out, right? Idiot. The next class, I dress up as Wednesday. Wednesday Adams. I had told my close friends about it. And I told one of my best guy friends about it. The one who taught me how to drive. Literally the best person ever. Like, I might cry. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> but I had told him about the situation. He offered to go to school with me the next day. I can drive you to school. I can be there at school with you. And then bring you back. In my head, I was like, there's no need for this, you know. But I'm like, oh, it's another day to hang out with him. Like, I don't mind, right? I'm going to take up on his offer. We can hang out after he picks me up that morning and we go to school i show my friend the art around the art department and we're sitting there and we're just talking and catching up i had told him about the guy i told him what his name was and just everything he had done tell me why he goes up to us and he's like hey amy what's up and he's like oh do you know if the print lab is open i was like i don't know i'm here with my friend like just wait till class starts and then he was like oh like can i talk to you for a second i was like no not right now like i'm with my friend like we can talk during class like when class starts but right now with my friend like i don't i don't want to talk to you he's like okay and then he introduces himself to my friend he's like hey what's up my name is blank and then my friend is like oh your name is blank and he's like yeah and then my friend is like got it my friend didn't introduce himself as he should don't reveal your name and then it was like kind of awkward and then he ended up leaving i'm a really sensitive person like i cry a lot but i try not to cry in front of other people but obviously like my emotions get the best of me and i just will and in the moment i was like okay he's not gonna do anything because i'm with another person i'm with a guy but as soon as he left all the anxiety started creeping up on me again and then i got really scared so much for being healed already and i started crying in front of my friend which was embarrassing because i don't like crying in front of guys especially even though he's like my best friend but like ugh. and i get a little anxious i told him i was like i didn't think he was gonna go up to us although i was with my friend and that i was with a guy which usually you know as a woman if you're with a guy friend or a boyfriend or any male figure you're gonna feel safer knowing there's another male with you but it's the fact that i still felt unsafe and then my friend was super sweet and he was like don't worry about it i'll be here if you need anything just shoot me a text i'll be here the whole time right and then eventually i had to go to my class so i went to class and i had told one of my classmates who i'm really close with i told him about it just to have someone in class know about the situation in case anything happened before class started i like quickly told him everything that had happened and he was like that's really weird and he was like he's like don't worry like i got you or whatever and then class starts it was only like a few of us that showed up to class because we were just printing eventually he goes up to me he's like hey can i talk to you outside i was like sure and i meant to record it because like that's just like a thing now like you just have to record stuff just in case and i completely forgot he basically ended up apologizing to me and saying what he did at the train station was like completely inappropriate basically said he had a crush on me and that he likes my personality he thinks i'm cool and that i dress nice he just wants to get to know me and he was like it's just kind of crazy how how often i run into you on campus i like i promise you i'm not like following you or anything like i hope you don't think that i'm like following your every move it's just like i see you a lot and i was like girl why are you saying that you don't have to say oh i hope you don't think girl i'm gonna think that now i think that and i've been thinking that and he's like i'm sorry if i made you uncomfortable i was like you did honey you did make me uncomfortable like quit it and i was just hearing him ramble the whole time i was like okay are you done no i'm not gonna be like it's okay it's not okay and i didn't say it's okay we are advancing as women in this world do not say it's okay when it's not okay not once did i say it's okay or try to validate his feelings then he ended up saying like it's been a rough past couple of weeks for him i'm like oh imagine how tired we are like imagine how tired i am how do you think i feel right now and he's like i just got out of the hospital i'm like 
maybe you should have stayed there maybe don't get out i was like do you want me to like feel bad for you because like, i don't and then after he apologized he stopped coming to class he ended up telling one of my classmates about something he's been going through i started getting this anxiety every time i had to go to school because i'm like oh my god what if i see him today and he would never show up and i just kind of wanted him to show up so i can like get rid of that fear of like seeing him constantly but he rarely showed up to class i don't know if it was because of this incident or because of like his personal life or like for both i stopped seeing him on campus i stopped running into him he stopped running into me that just proved that he was purposely like looking for me on campus because if he suddenly stopped girl that was on purpose and that was the end of it i ended up telling my teacher about it i was like hey this happened i was sobbing my eyes out in front of her she was literally extremely sweet and gave me advice she had to report it so she reported it to the school there's like a record of this incident happening and thankfully after that nothing else happened with him that was everything and it was extremely hard on me i'm literally minding my business like I, it's not like i was like talking to him after class being like hey what's up or like flirting with him no no i never spoke to him like out of the willingness of like my heart i never found you funny i never found you attractive i never found you funny i never found you entertaining i never found you smart I just found you annoying. I tend to attract people like this, both girls and guys, just like people who are like extremely like obsessive like that. And I don't know why. This isn't the first time it happens. Everything is resolved now. Today was my last day. So hopefully I don't get to see him ever in my stinking life. I told more of my classmates about it just as a warning. So there was a lot of people in my class that knew about it. I'm also Chismosa and I love to talk bad about people if it's deserved. And this was deserved. I was even about to take that part of me bringing up that he might have a crush on me. I was about to not include it because as i was editing it is when all the that happened i was like maybe i shouldn't but i was like you know what i'm gonna leave it in what my teacher told me when i told her about it she's like you don't have to be nice to everyone she's from new york so she grew up in that new york community where like you don't have to be nice if you don't want to it's just hard because this could happen to anyone at any time broad daylight at the butt crack of dawn in the morning there's weird people out there it's really scary so just be careful who you talk to if you have a gut feeling you're right you're right about that person there's too much at stake for you to be nice to someone and you know something extremely funny that honestly was like the top of the cherry for our final for that class we had to do a photoshopped image so we had to take pictures of like our classmates one of my classmates she had no idea about this situation she took pictures of me when i dressed up as red riding hood we had like intense lighting so one side of my face is bright and the other side is dark so you just see like light and dark and so her photoshopped image was like oh angel and devil why the freak tell me why she photoshopped him the man the culprit in the dark side as the devil and then she photoshopped my teacher in the light side as the angel when i saw this picture up on the wall when it was like time to critique i was like oh this is this is amazing and she had no idea no one told her about it no one told her anything but it's the fact that she thought of this idea she's like let me do a little play in photoshop and like photoshop like an angel and the devil on yami why was my teacher literally the angel of this story like literally my light and savior and he was the damn devil i even took a picture of it because it was so freaking funny and also because you could see his face and i wanted to show like my sister and like my parents how he looks like i might include it here i'm gonna blur out his face because i don't want to like expose just to show you guys that i'm not making this up like i swear i thought that was really funny i couldn't believe it i was cracking up i'm like this is amazing girl this is a masterpiece you just encapsulated this whole semester into one image and this is this is the creation as scary as this was it was a huge learning experience for me and i hope it is a learning experience for you guys as well to not be nice trust your gut and screw these men because they're stinky and they stink and yeah that's that's my little my little as if i haven't been speaking for like 40 minutes now thank you guys for listening to my story and i'm gonna continue this vlog at home don't worry this is not the end of the vlog please keep watching and yeah let's go home because i'm sitting on the cement and there's a lot of bugs
Okay, I worked on this damn paper last night. I'm pretty much done with it, so. You so cute, honey. But yeah, I, I finally finished the paper. I'm gonna turn it in. And I finished also the reflection paper that was part of this class as well, which is just like a two page response of like the GE course, I guess. I downloaded the PDF, so I'm gonna turn it in. It's time. And then today I'm going to the city. I'm taking myself out on a little date. I'm going to the mall and I'm gonna drop the bag because deserved. Let's turn in this stinking paper and we'll be done. I just turned everything in and I'm done. Applause, applause. We did it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this last two weeks of school movie, basically, because it's, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I talked too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are still in school, I was gonna say don't stress out too much, but girl, it's stressful. You just can't help it. Like, grades are just like something that we look up to a lot which is like really annoying because it's just a grade and that doesn't mean that you're dumb or smart. Like. It's just dumb, okay? I hope you guys do well on your tests. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and eating, drinking water, and getting enough sleep. I know it can be hard, especially during this time. Trust, I know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at TikTok and Pinterest. Good luck, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. I'm free.